Well, we're going to switch gears here a little bit and we're going to start working on the electrical system of the Land Cruiser. Uh, but before we do that, I wanted to tell you that uh, the number of likes and views and subscriptions has gone up on this, uh, this YouTube channel by in the last two weeks more than it has in the previous four and a half months that I've been posting videos. Um, when I first started, I was expecting really nobody to be all that interested, and I was just mostly doing it for documentation purposes. But I'm surprised and a little pleased to learn that people seem to like it, at least some people. And uh, maybe there's some more interest out there for this than I thought. So uh, before we get to work here, I thought I would take a minute and thank you for that. I appreciate it. And ask for a little bit of feedback about what's working and what's not working, what you'd rather see more of, or what you would rather I didn't do more of, and I'll try and do that for you if I can. Uh, but in the meantime, let's, uh, what I'm gonna do here in a minute here is go uh, take a look at, we'll do a walk around and I'll show you sort of the status of the electrical system and what's working and what's not. But again, thank you and um, let's get to work. Well, let's take a quick look around at the electrical system and make a to-do list of what needs attention and what's sort of okay. Um, first thing is I've already done the um, ignition tune-up, so there's new plugs, plug wires, cap rotor condenser points, something like that, so the ignition system is, is good to go. Uh, the low voltage side here, I've um, improved some of the wiring, like on this ballast transistor and over here going in and out of the distributor. So we're good there. We got a new battery. Um, the headlights are working. Um, turn signals are working. Let's go in, inside the cab here so I can show you a little more. The uh, ignition switch has been replaced. The key was lost, so I got a new ignition switch and a new key. So he said the headlights are working. The uh, oil pressure, the sending unit was bad, so that's been replaced. The temperature sending unit was also bad, that's been replaced. Fuel gauge is working. The ammeter is working. The speedometer is working. Turn signals work. The horn doesn't work. Here's the lead for the horn, so somebody has disconnected it and it's not working. The fuse switch, the uh, fuse panel here, is uh, there's signs of corrosion. I'd like to at least take it apart and um, clean up the connection so there's no corrosion, but otherwise it's working. The uh, wipers work, but the wiper motor doesn't work. I'll show you that in a minute. The uh, heater fans, both the front and back, are working. Um, the dome light doesn't work. Actually, I should go back over here. That's that, that empty hole there. So if it had a dome light, actually it did have a dome light, and that switch, it looks like it's been removed. And coming around to the back here, the uh, backup light was all corroded. I've got it out here on the bench. I'll show you in a minute. So it needs to be replaced. And I've already replaced the license plate holder, with uh, which used to be a, a light from a boat trailer. It's been replaced now with something that looks a little more, a little more proper. Uh, like I say, the turn signals, oh, the emergency flashers are also working. So... Um, let me go on up to the front here. And um, show you the... Here's the new backup light. Here's the old one that I took out. It was pretty much unusable. But uh, when I plugged this backup light in, it nothing happened. And that's the reason is that the wire from the front of the vehicle to the back of the wire, uh, vehicle has been removed. Um, Here's the backup switch. So it's connected to the shift lever. So when you put the shift lever in reverse, it closes this switch. And you can see the wires have been disconnected. 
This switch was um, all corroded and wasn't operative, so I've um, taken it apart and cleaned it, and it's working again. And the leads are right here, so I'll be able to reconnect it, but unfortunately these leads don't go anywhere to the back of the vehicle, so I'm going to have to run new, uh, new, light, new wires to go back of the vehicle for the backup light. The dome light, here's the old dome light, and it was, um, it's possibly usable, but the lens is gone, um, and the switch is gone, so I bought a new switch that can go in there, and I haven't quite decided if I'm going to use these, but I've bought a couple of these license plate lights to go kind of like that, and I'm hoping they'll, uh, they'll work and uh, that'll fix the interior lights and uh, just started to recap what's working and what's not working uh, really like what's not working is the horn um, the brake fail light those have been disconnected those I'll, I'll fix that up so that the brake light failure light in the dashboard is working again uh, while the wipers are working the windshield washer is not working because it's been removed uh, the backup light, which we talked about, the license plate light. Um, when I was measuring voltages around the vehicle, I discovered there's low voltage in the rear, only about 11 volts, which is not enough. Probably um, has something to do with corroded connectors, something like that, but I'll find that and fix it. And the dome light. So the electrical system overall, most things are working, and what's left is definitely fixable. So uh, there will probably be several videos about this, and I haven't decided how much uh, real work I want to show or whether I just want to do little things after it's all done. And that actually might be one of the things about feedback is whether you'd rather shorter videos that I just uh, show you what I've done and show you everything working or more videos where you, where I, you see me working. Um, but anyway, that's it for this video. And uh, again, thanks for watching.